Ready for immediate deployment and fit to fight, the clone army was the biggest investment ever made by the Galactic Republic. This huge risk, however, evidently paid off and the clones were some of the greatest soldiers the galaxy had ever seen. With that said, no matter how great the soldier, guidance and leadership still play a crucial part in the eventual successes of an army, which is of course why the Republic commissioned the clone commanders that we've all come to know and hopefully love throughout my clone commander profile video series. In today's video however, we're going to be taking a look at one of the bravest clone commanders ever seen throughout the show. Although relatively unknown and only appearing in one episode of the Clone Wars, this commander managed to leave us with one of the most memorable scenes of the show, by showing absolute courage, tenacity and perseverance throughout a battle that was simply impossible to win. If you haven't guessed by now, the commander that is going to be analysed today is of course, Commander Thorn. Like all other clones within the Republic army, Commander Thorn was born and raised on Kamino and was genetically identical to our favourite Mandalorian bounty hunter Jango Fett. During his training, Thorn was obviously shortlisted by his superiors for a leadership role, likely due to the qualities possessed by him being seemingly compatible with what was required for the demanding job. With that said, after presumably being put through Alpha 17's experimental training program, Thorn would have been able to cultivate and refine his personality and philosophies, later being chosen to command a division of the Coruscant Guard. During his time as a clone commander, Thorn forged an immense love for heavy weapons and even named his prize Z6 Rotary Blaster, Hammer. In saying this, Thorn and his men had a relatively easy time throughout much of the Clone Wars, as they were all part of the Coruscant Guard, who were of course infamous among other clones due to their cushy and peaceful life in the Core Worlds. This however, as we all know, changed drastically for Thorn and his men when they were chosen to accompany Senator Padme Amidala on a seemingly routine mission to the banking planet of Scipio. Thorn and his men were soon shocked to learn of a massive invasion fleet heading full speed toward their sector, however were admirably quick in their reaction. The first priority of Thorns was to contact Senator Amidala and warn her about the approaching hostile forces, likely saving her from capture or even death. After realising that he and his men were sitting ducks on the landing pad, Thorn gave his last orders and attempted to save himself and his men by sprinting to the last bastion of safety at the city gates. Sadly for Thorn, his men, and the viewers, they never do make it to the gates and are quickly encircled by Separatist forces. Thorn, revealing his true nature, is bitterly stubborn to the very end, taking out as many droids as he could for the Republic rather than being captured and interrogated by the Separatists. As you'll see in this clip, he gave it his all until he could no longer fight, eventually succumbing to his wounds and collapsing thereafter. So after seeing this valiant fighter in his last stand, we must still ask the question of whether Thorn would have executed Order 66 if he was still alive to see it. In my opinion, although incredibly brave and noble in his intentions, Thorn was ultimately loyal to the Republic. This was made even more apparent by the fact that he was appointed commander of the most pro-Republic corps within the army, leading to defection from the beloved commander Thorn being highly unlikely. Well you've heard my opinion, now it's your turn to give me yours. What do you think of Thorn's heroic acts? Would he have executed Order 66 if he was still alive? Let me know below. Don't forget to join the wider intergalactic community on our website, Discord and Instagram for the latest memes and behind the scenes shots. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.